To get started, I just added a video clip to my timeline that I'd like to add scrolling end credits after. Let's begin by going up to Open Other, and then select Color. In the pop-up, click the Color button. Then select the black color and hit OK. And I'll just hit OK in here as well. Now drag the black video clip in the preview after your video clip on your timeline. Make sure your black video clip is selected on the timeline and go up to Filters. In the Filters panel, click the plus button. Type text into the search box. Select the text HTML filter to add it to your black video clip. Then under template, select simple scroll. This will automatically open up a pop-up that you can type your credits into. So I'm going to go ahead and type in a couple credits as an example. Once you have your credits typed in, select them with your mouse and then click the format button to see a number of options. You can format your text as you desire, but if you're using a black background like me, you're going to want to change the text color to white. Otherwise, you won't be able to see your text on the black background and you'll think the scroll isn't working. I'm also going to click the increase indent button a few times to move my text towards the center of the frame. I'm finished in here, so I'm just going to click the save button and then close the window. Alright, and now when I play this back, I have some nice looking rolling end credits and shot cut. You can change the direction of the credit scroll if you want, but I'm going to leave mine scrolling up since credits usually do. To change the speed of your scroll, just drag the end of your black clip to either extend it and make the credits go slower, or drag the end of the clip to shorten it and speed the credits up. Alright, and that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching and see you next time.